Welcome. This video will show you how to use your interactive whiteboard software in the classroom. You will see the units divided up just as in the book. Click on a unit to display its contents. Hover over the pages to show images of the lessons. Then click on the page of your choice to display it. Click anywhere on the page to zoom into an area. Then use the hand tool to move the page around and focus on a section. To return to the full page view, reselect the arrow tool and click anywhere on the page. You can also use the magnifying tool from the toolbar to zoom in and use the slider to increase or decrease the size. Again, Click the hand tool to move the page around. You can use the highlighter and pen to annotate the pages. Also, the undo, the eraser, and the clear screen tools to correct any annotation. Reselect the arrow and click to return to the full page view. The toolbar can be moved to a convenient place on the screen by clicking on this bar and dragging it. Where you see this symbol, there is audio to accompany the exercise. Simply click on the symbol to play it. In the audio player, you will see familiar function buttons pause, rewind and fast forward. Use this control to adjust the volume. The audio player can be moved to a convenient place on the screen by clicking on this bar and dragging it. Click on the cross in the corner to close. Other features can be activated by clicking on these tabs. Click here to watch the DVD. The DVD player functions in exactly the same way as the audio player. The mini dictionary is simple to use. Click the tab and search for the word you want. You can also filter results by unit. Click here to listen to the pronunciation of the word. Ice skates. Close the mini dictionary here. From here, you can open the test master. All of the tests from the test book are available here for you to edit as you wish. Click here to access the test audio. Click the track you require. The track will then play in your system's standard music software. Click here to close the test master. This is the end of the help video. To watch this video again, click the help button.